Hey folks, this is Chris Crazy House, and as I promised, I wanted to start doing more showcases of other black artists out there. For those who don't know that we exist, we do exist, and I wanted to make sure that I do my part and use my platforms to bring as much attention to these great artists that are out there that you guys can go follow and get to know their work. And I this is a special one for me because this is someone who I've was a fan of and admired and have become good friends with as far as doing the conventions and he's been a big inspiration to me and that is James Mason also known as Mace on social media or Mace One when he was doing his web comics and he is the creator of the Urban Shogun comics Okay, and some of you might have seen his work before because he's been around for a, a long time, at least a decade or two. So I became a, I was a fan of, of his work as just when it was just web comics. If you could look online and find UrbanShogun.com. And the first time I actually met him in person was at the very first Onyx Con. Back in, I believe it was 2000 and, was it 2008 or 2009? I can't remember. But I wasn't, I was never, a, I wasn't a vendor at that time. I was just going there. I found out about OnyxCon the night before. Like I was just kind of looking for work or whatever in Atlanta. And someone told me about this convention. You should try going there and showing some of your work. And that's exactly what I did. I went there just on a whim. I, I, I took the bus. I didn't have a car. So I took the bus there. It was kind of rainy. I had my uh, my umbrella in my backpack, and I took my little mini portfolio I had with me, and just went there to chat with some of the other artists and talk with them and show them my work and say you know see what I need to do to get to where they were. And Mace was one of the first guys that I talked to. I saw his work. I saw his posters. And I saw his comics, and they were just all inspiring to me seeing these black martial arts characters and I really appreciated what he had created so I just asked him you know I let him look at my portfolio and then you know he said my work was good and then he, I asked him like how do you get your comic books printed and he told me just go on kablam set up your pages and everything like that and you can do it and so I took his advice and it still took me another year but by uh, 2011, so I guess Onyx Con, the first one was in 2009, because I, I didn't get to the second one. But by the third Onyx Con, by the third time that came around, 2011, I was there, and I had my first table and my first comic book, which was Knuckleheads Done. And I remember talking to Mace after that, and he told me that, you know what, there are a lot of guys and a lot of people that come through here and ask me advice on how to get things done. And you're one of the first to actually take what I said, take my advice, and actually go out there and do it. And I think from then on, he had, I had his respect for doing so. Okay, so that that's what it is with a lot of artists out there. You know, we have a lot of people ask us for advice, and when we give it and we see someone takes that and applies it, it means a lot to us that we were able to help somebody to make, and, and that person show some diligence into moving forward. So I always appreciate Mason. I credit him with that as far as like, getting me my giving me my start in comics. Okay. Doing my own comics and, and doing conventions as well. Between him and my and my good buddy Mervin, they're the ones that kind of pushed me forward as far as doing that. Okay. So to talk a little bit about Mace himself, I I've always been a fan of his work, his original project, the Urban Shogun great uh, black martial arts series. If you are a fan of martial arts and or fighting games like Street Fighter or stuff like that, you owe it to yourself to go check out Urban Shogun. He has, I believe, three volumes at this point. He did enough work online where he first he combined all of it into one, one book, one big volume book as far as like a, a graphic novel. And then he did a second one which focused on the villains of the story, which is the Venom Clan, which are very cool villains, by the way. I, some people are almost more more fans of the actual the Venom Clan 
than they are of the the heroes in the the dragon school. Okay, but you know, I still like the the dragon schools too. I, I and just like the stories, they reminded me a lot of what I wanted to see when I was a teenager. Okay, when I was a teenager, I wanted to see projects like this. I wanted to see, you know black fighters or, or black martial artists fighting on the basketball court. That, that was one of the stories he had when his very first or fighting on the rooftops or whatever. That was like stuff that I wanted to see when I was a teenager. Like when I read it, it took me back to my teenage years where I would like create my own little comics of my own because I didn't see it out there. You didn't see this type of work out there. So I, I was so happy to see something like this that I can hold on to. And I, I've, I've read and reread his books several times over. I just enjoy it so much and I enjoy the characters so much. Okay. Uh, and what's cool about his comics, what I really like is he uh he actually puts like a little bit of a soundtrack in his comics. What I mean by that is like when there's about to be a fight scene, he'll put in the little description box what song probably should be playing in the background of that fight scene. I think that was, that was a cool thing to do. And if you if you can read the comment, you go find that song. You put it on while you're reading or while reading the panels of the fight scene. It actually does fit pretty well. So like I said, I I appreciated him doing it. That's something different that I had never really seen before. But that's the joy of being an independent creator. You can put whatever whatever little quirks or whatever little things you want to put into your work. You can put it in there, and that's the great thing. And that's why one of the things I really appreciated about his work. And appreciated about just the originality of that. So, and after he created Urban Shogun, he created a, another project called the Sankofa Guard, which is another amazing project. Like he and I, because we had, we had done so much work with Onyx Khan and done so much work for Onyx Khan, uh, the organizer Joseph Wheeler wanted to put on a convention. Not just in the summer, but he wanted to do a small event in February for Black History Month. And he came up with Onyx Khan Sankofa. So he contacted Mace and I to come up with concepts for this Onyx Khan Sankofa event. And I came up with the, the Sankofa family. So I geared mine towards kids. And, and, and Mace came up with the Sankofa Guard, which is a, a black sci-fi project. And he actually went, out, went as far as not to just put out the artwork with posters and stuff like that, but he also puts out a black and white comic book called The Sankofa Girl, which is, is amazing. Really cool comic and a really cool concept. I like the, the futuristic feel and the sci-fi feel of it. Once again, you don't really see concepts like this. You're starting to see it more now, and I, I've talked about that on my other channel where I talked about a lot of these mainstream companies are now starting to are take our, our ideas and our projects, by the way, and starting to make money off of it and make their own ideas based off of stuff that we've been doing for decades. But that, that's not neither here nor there. I don't want to get too much into that. But this is a great sci-fi project and a, and a, a really cool character. In fact, uh, Mace was just telling me at the recent Honest Con that he's really starting to sell more of this comic, even more than his Urban Shogun stuff. And he's actually starting to go back to the drawing board and redesign uh, a lot of those urban shogun characters. And he he's he probably doesn't think so, but I think he's actually a talented animator as well. Because for those who don't know, uh, Mace teamed up with some other great black artists and he put out uh, a superhero team based on with all their characters in there called the Almighty Street Team. And Mace took one of his characters from Urban Shogun and put that character in there as part of the, the Almighty Street team. And they put out two comics, but the main thing they put out was a video game. So there's a street team video game that is available for you to go out there and buy. I bought a copy as soon as I could when it first came out. I remember when they demoed it, and it just had like one level done. And when they finally put the game out, I made sure I got one. And I played on my laptop. I, I wore it out playing on my damn laptop, I'll say that. Wore out my fingers playing it on the laptop. You can play it on other things if you have a control. You just play it on your computer. But very fun game to play. Old school side scrolling beat em up games, kind of like Streets of Rage or Final Fight. But it has all these great black characters in it. And like I said, it's something that you really don't see. But it's out there available for you guys to get. 
And I'm going to post links to all of Mace's, his website and his social media so you guys can follow him online and also follow his work, okay? That's a very talented brother all around. He's made some great prints, just some great just classical artwork. Because people will just say, oh, he just does uh, comics or whatever. What else can he do? But he's a very talented artist. And he can do several different styles. He's like me in that regard where we can draw on different styles based on what we're trying to accomplish. Okay? I said, very talented brother. I get a lot of game from him just observing what he's done and trying to apply it to myself and the work that I do. And I've always appreciated his, his words of wisdom as well as his friendship. Uh, he's a, a great, great brother with a, a great black family. He has two daughters. I ask his advice as well as a father, since he's his daughters are way older than mine, so he's had his daughters for a while. So I always ask his advice as far as like, what do I have to deal with? What's coming up as far as like having a black daughter? So he's he's been good to me in that regard as well, and a mentor to me in that regard as well. So I know what's coming up as far as being a father with a a, a little black girl. So. I appreciate him in that regard as well. But once again, you know, if you are, if you love this type of artwork and even if you like his type of uh, fighters, fighters type black martial artists more than you like my work, I, I ain't mad at you because I like his stuff. I'm a fan of his stuff. So go get it because there are a lot of teenage boys that will probably appreciate his stuff even more than they would appreciate mine. So please, if you have a teenage son or a preteen son who's into anime and, and fight stuff like that, you owe it to yourself to get them some Urban Shogun comics because I think they'll appreciate those way more. Because I bought some for my nephew when he was younger. They'll appreciate this way more than they appreciate that manga, which is not showing them. If they do have a black character in some of these mangas out there, they're, they're not portrayed in a, a nice light at all. Okay. So make sure you go out there and get some stuff from Mace. Go ahead and get him that Urban, Show, those Urban Shogun comics. Get him that the Street Team video game. And get the Sankofa Gar for your girls. They will appreciate it, okay? Mace has a lot of male and young female fans. So please, please go support this brother. Because like I said, he's one of the people that inspired me to do what I do. And as you see in the this video, you've seen a lot of his work. You can't deny the talent. So once again, to Mace, I just want to say a big thank you. I appreciate you, brother. And I know I, I'll see nothing but greatness from you in the near future and on into the, the far future. You guys let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. Chris Miller signing out. Peace.